massive wrecking ball. Can you talk about his personality? Who's that? Rashawn Gary. Uh, I mean, great personality. I mean, he loves the game of football. Uh, he loves Michigan. Um, and he, uh, he's got real high character. He's just a, he's a fun guy to be around. And uh, the way he plays, you know, when he's out there, you can see it. That he, he wouldn't play like he, he plays unless you were really, unless you were really enthused about the game and, and loved the game. And that's what he shows. What kind of, what, what did you see from Quiddy Pay when he came in and replacement of him? Uh, Quiddy Pay, uh, you know, he's, he's a, a, like another one of the guys that, that we take great pride in here, and that's uh, bringing in great character, great athletes, uh, kids that want to be, be very good football players and just see them grow. And here's a young man that was a 10, 900 meter guy in high school at, at 224 pounds. I think right now he's 265 pounds, and uh, he works as hard as he can. Again, another real high character young man, very intelligent, uh, and he's a, he's why you coach. He's why uh, he's why Michigan is Michigan, you know, because you get a guy like that that just keeps working and keeps working, and all of a sudden he needs to step up, and he steps up. And uh, I'm really, I'm really proud of him. Really proud of what he's he's doing, and it's going to be fun watching him uh, grow uh, as we keep going. And how versatile is he? Because we've seen him kind of line up in different places, and very versatile. I mean, he's a he's an anchor. He played anchor behind Rashawn. Uh, he also would be the the first guy to back up Chase uh, in some of the packages that uh, Coach Brown puts together. He's a guy that. Uh, can do a lot of different things because he's very, very intelligent and he's very fast. So he, he's a, you know, he's a real plus. How much do you work with Josh Uchen? Is he more of the linebackers or does he work with front line? Uh, no, Josh is Josh works with uh, the linebacker group more, and uh, he does pass rush work with us, but uh, he does more uh, uh, with Al Washington. And uh, I mean, there's a there's a great example of uh, of I think. With, guys developing players. I mean, this guy here, I think, has seven sacks now in 61 plays, you know, and, and that's, that's, a, that's a person who has very, very good ability in his speed. Uh, I think it's also a real credit to Don Brown and, and the schemes that he comes up with and the ways of trying to get our best football players in the best positions at the right time. And, uh, you know, so now you see a young man like Uche, who is very fast uh, and quick and he's improved. Um, Al Washington's done a great job with him uh, getting him ready, and now he comes in and helps us. You see Brian Monet play some of his best football? I sure have. Brian, Brian Monet uh, just steadily getting better and better. And I would say, yes, this is his best football <laughs> this year. And it's still not done. And, and I'll say that about our entire front. Uh, our guys are, are, are doing some good things. They're working very, very hard. But if you asked every one of them, and if you asked me, uh, we can still get much, much better. And that's what we plan on doing every game, game by game, as the season goes on. And Brian would tell you the same thing. You know, I've done some good things, but I can do some better things. And, uh, and that's what we're counting on them to do. Greg, speaking of the versatility and speed, the third down group that you guys have been putting out there with Josh and Quiddy and Michael and, and Chase, is that as uh, quick? Athletic or whatever, but Yeah, I mean, we we you know take takes great you know we really enjoy getting fast guys out on the field. It's a passing situation. If you know it's a passing situation, you're better with speed. And we happen to have some guys that are a little faster than others. The other thing that does, and again, this is a credit again to Coach Brown. The other thing that that does is it keeps you have a lot of talent, and it keeps guys involved in the game. Uh, Michael Dwumfor, I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're three deep inside at defensive linemen and all are playing very, very well. Well, Mike Dwumfor wants to be on the field. Well, he's one of the fastest guys, so we put him in in the passing situations, and he's done very well. Michael's also very intelligent because when you do that, you have to figure out this is a different scheme. This is different than I do every day in, uh, in everything we do at our, at, at our level is make sure we don't make missed assignments, and that's where he's done. And uh, so that's what's helped us. Do you think that Rashawn could play inside in some of those? Oh, Rashawn could play anywhere you want to put him. Is that you know, you guys I mean, with, excuse me. Is that something you guys tinker with at all? In those? Well, I mean, we did it last year. You know, we've already done those kind of things. But again, you keep talking about guys are doing well where they're at. 
then keep playing guys so you get more people involved and more people can help us win and they and more people have their stamp on this defense is Aubrey okay? He was limping around out there a little bit. Isn't he? right yes, there. he's fine. Aubrey's fine. Uh, and he's another one. Aubrey, Aubrey's playing his best football right now. Uh, I, I thought last week in practice, Aubrey was playing as good a football as I've seen him since he's been here. Would you put Lawrence Marshall in that same category? Definitely. I, Lawrence Marshall, uh, again, as a young man that was you know, deciding whether to come back for his fifth year and everything like that, and he's rotating. as. A, see, we... We have a starting first unit and a rotating first unit and a rotating second unit. All of them are starters. And Lawrence Marshall, if you ask me, he's a starter. You know, the guy that happens to be playing very, very strong for us in there right now is Carlo Kemp. You know, so Carlo Kemp gets the nod as being the first guy when the ball's kicked off that he goes in there. Four plays later, you're going to see Lawrence Marshall standing there in that same position. Not in a mop-up role, but in a role where we have to get them stopped. And uh, we have, we have a, uh, I think, a, a very strong group of guys, which that's what we try to build here. You want to be able to, anybody that goes in that game should be, in your mind, a starter. And uh, that's what the young men are doing right now, trying to get that done. You mentioned being fast. In the spring, Don said this would be, he thought this was the fastest defense he's been around. Is it? I, I, you know, I think it is. I mean, the thing that... I think they do such a great job of, and I, again, you know, I don't have to tell you this, but I mean, you know, our coordinator, these kids practice the way you're supposed to practice, and 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 and, and our guys as a staff take ownership in their players. Like if you look at. If you look at the secondary, I, I think the last three years they've been the number one secondary in the country, right? Well, Zordich and Partridge, that's their room. And they take great pride in that. And, and it all starts with Coach Brown and, and all of us sitting in there together, and then we divide up and let's go. And I think every player knows that when you go out on that practice field, we're going to play, fa we're going to practice fast. We're going to go really fast. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that what we're supposed to be doing, we're going to do. And, you know, yesterday was a good example. You know, you wonder after a big win over Penn State like that, what's it going to be like? <laughs> It wasn't any different. Our kids came out and they practiced as hard as if we were if we were playing any one of the past three games. And that's a real credit to Don. And it's a real credit to our to our defensive coaches, I believe, but, uh, and our players more than anything. I mean, it's a real credit to them. They're they're um, you know they want to be great. And and I think if you ask them, they know they can get better. We all know we can get better, and that's a goal for us is to see how good we can get this defense. How eye opening has the uh, offensive line? Well, I, we don't go against them much anymore, but it's very obvious. I mean, you know, you know, one of the greatest calls in all of a game is punt team up, sit down. You know, and that's what you've heard a lot this year in that, you know, we're all ready. Guys, get ready. We're getting ready. We're getting ready to punt. And all of a sudden, it's a first down. Well, I'm a firm believer. It all starts up front. And, uh, you know, we go against them a little bit in pass rush each week. But I, I, I'm so impressed with the job they've done. And the offense has done a phenomenal job. I mean, this thing's – and the special teams have done a great job. To me, when good things are happening with a football team, it's never one phase. You know, you can't do it unless you get all three phases working together. And that's one, that's one thing Coach Harbaugh has done a great job of. We, the, the, all three phases are working together right now. And uh, offensive line is a – that's a real big plus. Uh, I'll say it again. You, you, your team, your team. You know, I'm very biased. You better be good up front. You know, and uh, our offense is doing a really good job that way. Is this the season you envision Chase having if he returns? Oh yeah. This is this is why I was so adamant about him coming back. You know, I. I uh, you know, I felt that he needed to have this kind of a year. He needed to be more than just kind of a flash in the pan like people would have looked at him as. You know, I mean, Taco leaves and Chase comes in and, you know, it's still, Al, oh, he's not Taco or this or that, you know. Well, all of a sudden now you're talking about Chase. And I'm so proud of him because he's not just a guy that runs fast and plays hard anymore. He plays with great technique and he's been very physical. And uh, he start, and that's what we said. We needed another year so that you could become a complete player at that position. And, and I think his play on the field shows that. Got time for a couple more for Coach Maddox?
Madison, if anyone has anything else. Back to the Michigan State game, and I'm not asking about the pregame stuff, but when you see Devin Bush getting fired up like that, I know you don't coach his position, but and I've asked you before about Devin, what, what does he bring that emotion? Well, Devin Bush is a phenomenal linebacker, and I keep saying it, and I mean this, you know, he's got tremendous character. He's a great young man. He's intelligent. He's, and I keep going, I go, after I say that a few times, I always go, because he's a Michigan man. And I mean that, you know. I uh, haven't been at other schools and things like that. I'm telling you what a Michigan man is. This is him. A guy that has so much invested in his teammates, so much invested in how he plays, that when somebody disrespects you, that bothers you. And, you know, I don't know how you are, but I, I, I'm not one of those guys, I think, when, when somebody does something like that where I'm just going to walk away, no big deal. I mean, he, he showed his emotion right there. Now, whether that was right or wrong, that's, that's Devin, and that's why Devin is a premier linebacker in this college football game right now. And, and I, it, the whole thing happens when you put as much in to playing like you're supposed to, like our kids have, when people do that, when people disrespect you, people don't treat you like you feel like you should be, well then you, you're gonna show some emotion because you have invested so much. And Devin's just a, another example of the guys that we work with on this defense and on this team. I'm not signaling out offense either, I don't have them, but with this team that, uh, I was glad to see it, to be honest with you. It showed how much it meant. It showed how much the rest of his teammates meant to him. And uh, then it's all you have to do is watch the film and see how he played. <laughs> that, go ahead and do it again if you want and see what happens, you know. <laughs> a little better than a prep talk or a pep talk to him, you know. Out, out of all the different levels you've coached, how does his speed compare to? Well, he's, uh, he's, his speed is c top caliber. I mean, his speed is speed. Oh, you, you, you don't ever know. I mean, you go out there and don't get a stopwatch and say, okay, you run this and you run that. No, no. All you have to do is is see our, like we talk to our defensive linemen all the time, play your position and control your gap and let these guys run and you'll have success. And we sit there and watch the film and say, good job, look at these guys go to the football and Devin being the guy. I mean, he running at a different level now. That's, you know, I don't know what that time is, but I know one thing, it's faster than a lot of other people. And, uh, and the only other thing that happens with that is they're so well coached. Don, I keep saying it, but he does such a great job with those kids that they know exactly where they're supposed to be, you know, when. You don't see false steps out of them. You don't see, you know, the ball going that way. And, oh, why is that guy going that way? It doesn't know. They're right on it, and then his speed goes from there. So it's been, it's been good. What's Luigi's future, and, and how's he handling his second injury? Luigi? Luigi yeah. Oh, he's working extremely hard. And his future is very good. I mean, his future is very good when he was recruited here. And, and that's something we can't control. Um, how does a guy come back from injuries and operations? But I know one thing. Luigi is doing everything that our trainers are asking him to do. He's working extremely hard to get himself back. He did the, right before this season. And, uh, and I would never count him out. I would never count him out because he works too hard. And again, he's another, he's a Michigan man, you know, and that's what he's showing by how he's handling this and doing this, you know. So you've had some whoppers in Florida and here and defensive line wise. Uh, I don't want you to like swell their heads too much, but in terms of everything they can do across the board, depth, speed, you know, dash, do everything else, where is this one? Is this one up there? Can they do all the things that some of these other ones have had? I don't know if I can answer that question until this season's over. Okay, that's fair enough. You know, uh, uh, I can say this, the way they're working right now and the way they're trying to get to, they have a chance to be there. You know, and it's funny, you know, we talk about that. We talk, you know, if you, if you looked in our meeting room, you saw two years ago the all, all Big Ten players and then last year the all Big Ten players and then there's another board that has – skeletons of people and saying who's going to be in this group and we talk all the time about at Michigan if you're going to play in a defensive line you better play it up to here okay that's, that's all that's accepted and now all of a sudden this group is doing that you know so you see you know you see again the culture that Coach Harbaugh is, is established, the, 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 it then goes down to the defense with Coach Brown and with these coaches, and, and the kids are, it, it's, it's, it's happening. And, uh, 
Now we got, you know, all this means nothing this next game. And that's what our kids know. It's this game. It's, it's right now we got one more game. This next game. And that you can say all you want about, boy, the film looked good. And boy, you really doing good. And you mentioned how Carlo, he's really improved. Do you understand what that means if you don't go and get better in this next game? That doesn't mean anything. So you better come out this week and practice, and you better get ready to play your best football game when you go to New Jersey. And that's what our kids are buying into. Anything else for Coach Madison? Thanks, Coach.